Alrighty, look, my girl's twitching. What the hell? Alrighty, folks, welcome, welcome. So what we're doing now, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, a quick tutorial video of sorts on how to set up the mods for the upcoming new version of our server. Now this could also be used by anybody, really, uh, for any server. If you already have the mod list of a server you want to play in, this could be helpful to you as well. So it's not just ours. The, the same process and procedure can be used for any server. <clears throat> now, you can't, just like with anything, there are many ways to do things, all right? I'll precursor this with that. So for any of the eggheads and nerds out there that want to come on, I'm like, ah, that's not how you do it. Then do it how you want, all right? I don't care. This is how I found to be the easiest way to do it so that my community can get this done and get in the game and play the game they want to play. So for anyone that wants to argue and tell me there's another way to do it, fine, do it, don't care. This is just for my people to do it the most simple way. Uh, there might even be a simpler way out there. If you think you know a simpler way to do this, then hey, shoot me a message, let me know. Um, what I've found is when you uninstall things through R2 Modman, the mod manager, <clears throat> it doesn't take everything out. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. So you actually, it leaves the config files in. And for whatever reason that I didn't want to get into, it it leaves them in there. And when you install new mods, the new configs don't always come over and overwrite the old configs, even though they are supposed to be the same damn thing. So it's just a mess. So you can go in your file system and take them all out manually. A lot of gamers aren't computer savvy. They just want to log in and play a game. They don't want to have to be a computer repairman and go into the file system. I get it. So it can be done that way. It's a real pain in the ass. So I'd rather just show people another way that I found. And we can utilize the... Um, shit, I just forgot the word. <laughs> we can utilize the profiles feature of R2 Modman. So this 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 makes it pretty handy. So... Uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in there and do that. All right, yeah, there, no music's playing, cool. Good deal. Oh, there's my desktop. Ignore my desktop, it's a mess. I gotta clean it. I clean it once a month or so. I get lazy and just throw shit on the desktop. So, uh, here's the R2 mod man, as you all know. Now, here's all my current mods on this current test, test one. So, what? I would have gonna recommend everyone to do is close it out, right? Just get all the way out of R2 Mod Man, make sure the game's not open, and open up. When you there's probably a way to get into the profiles from the other thing, but I'm just not gonna deal with it. So these are ways to close it out. When you reopen it, it's gonna want you to pick your profiles. So you'll see these profiles I've already made. Uh, there's my main profile, and then there's uh, a testing profile. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a new one. So you click over here on Create New. Now uh, we'll call this testing part do. We hit create. So now we'll see I have a new profile called testing part two. 
Now, before we go further, for those of you thinking in your head, well, if I make new profiles, install new mods, aren't I just eating up a lot of space on my hard drive? Yeah, you're basically duplicating the space. So if you want, you can go back to your old profiles and delete them, delete it here. Um, this, I just deleted the mods. I haven't test actually deleting the whole profile. So this might actually get rid of all the shit from the old ones, but some people might not want to do that. So I'm not going to advocate one way or the other. So um, just make a new one. So we're going to do testing part two. We're going to select it. Now look, it looks all brand new and fresh again, right? So uh, we're going to go along through this. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time doing it. That's the bonus of using a video. If you need to go at a slower pace, you can pause the video. Um, pause the video, work on your system, get it up where it needs to be, unpause the video, go backwards, go forwards, do whatever you need to do, and that's why we're doing a video, because I tend to talk fast when I'm going through things. I got a lot of shit to do. I still got to take down the old server, copy all the files over, put up the new one, all that stuff. So I got a lot to do tonight, and I still got to go play with the kids a little bit before they go to bed. So um, if I start getting too fast with this, just... Just pause the video, rewind it a bit, and then uh, you can be able to match them up, do what you need to do. Oh, speaking of which, where's my list? Here's my list of mods. All right. I typed this all out. T-Bird already told me I did make an error in there, and I spelled something wrong, and I fixed it. But Fantasy Armor, it's actually called Fantasy Armory, but I did update that correctly in the um, in the mod listing in Discord. So... But obviously with the video, you'll see exactly what it is. So my spelling doesn't matter. And it's a lot of shit to type out, guys. I, I, didn't, I didn't even type out all 59 of them. Excuse me. I just I just typed out the major ones and then the ones we added manually, which are still a lot. So it's a lot to type. So I'm bound to bat finger something along the way. Just, I mean, that's why I made video. So now you can see it on video. All right, nothing about that. So we have nothing installed. So we click on online. And the first thing we're going to type, or excuse me, click on is always the first thing. It's pinned. This is the heart of damn near all mods. So click on the Bep Index Pack, uh, Valheim, hit download. Once you do that, you'll notice up here, installed is now number one. So if you're comparing this to yours, you know, you want to make sure your account's the same. That way you don't miss any. I've already had people coming up, hey, I've only got 57 and I followed your list. Well, if you followed my list, you don't have 57. Sorry. I'm not being a dick. That's just the reality of it. So um, that's why I put the numbers in there. And even in Discord, in the, where I typed them all out, misspellings and everything, I put the numbers in there so you can see the numbers to match along with your progress. So anyway, there's Beppin. There's number one. So we go there. You see it's just that's the only one we have installed. The next one is the one that's going to dump a bunch of shit on your computer. And uh, this is the one we all we all want because it has all the cool shit in it. Epic Valheim, all right? So you type that in, and you're gonna want this one. Click that, click download. Download with dependencies. Always click the download with dependencies, guys. Every time, all the time. If you really wanna know what the dependencies are, you can click, go to website, go look at their website, it'll tell you everything. Um, don't skip ahead and go, oh, well, we probably need that because it's part of that. It's gonna dump it on there for you. So don't, don't skip ahead, just, Click this, hit download. You look now, we've got 36, right? So that matches what's in the Discord. Now we've got 36 installed. It just put a lot of shit on there, okay? And that's that's the bonus of a, of a mod pack, really. They already know what you're going to need, barring any problems out there of, of game updates that might have broken a mod, which is what we ran into. Um, it's going to put everything you need. So in a perfect world, I would love to be able to be skilled enough to create a, a, a WAG server pack. You know, where you just go click one thing and then poof, there it is. Other servers have done it. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I'll learn one day. I just don't have time to learn a lot of new shit right now. But that would be cool. So maybe if we get enough, you know, momentum in this server, it turns out to be pretty populated. You know, population always warrants growth and expansion. So if the population is there, maybe I'll either take some time or reach out to somebody. Hey, I want a mod pack that does this. Here's all the mods I want. So we'll, anyway, we'll get to that. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is Valheim Plus. Uh, it doesn't add a lot on there. I thought it would have. <laughs> but I think what it also is is smart enough to, to know that if it's going to add something, it already sees that you've got it. So it's not going to increase because they, some of the dependencies here are already installed from the other one. That's why I went in this order to get all the big shit on there first. So we click that. We hit download. We hit download with dependencies. 
boom, it's on there. Now we got 37. And I should just turn on music and stop talking, but this, this part's going to get pretty boring. But uh, do I have any music on there? No, I don't. All right. Well, I ain't going to worry about it. So you just get to hear me breathe, click, and ramble. Next one's better accuracy. Uh, you don't even have to type everything out all the time, guys. Just start typing some of it. It'll pop up better. That's why I wasn't too hung up on the misspellings earlier because it didn't matter. You just start typing some of it. It'll show up. The next one on the list is Backpacks Plus or Remake, rather. Backpacks Remake. This one, hit download. Now we're up to 39. It still matches my list. Next one. And I tried to go in alphabetical order. I did miss a few at the end, so they're out of alphabetical alphabetical order, but I was not going to retype all that shit. So there's Chicken Boo. That's what allows us to have chickens. Discord Notifier. This is for the future. I haven't even set it up and played with it yet, but I'm going to try to integrate it with Discord to see about integrating help, tickets, chat, whatever. Whatever it can do through Discord, we're going to set up the webhooks and get it done. I just don't know what it does yet. Uh, now, next one is Dual Wield. Red's favorite. He will hate me in the world if we don't have that. So put that on there. Next one is Dungeon Reset. That one. There you go. Uh, I think that's the only one there, so you can't get that wrong. Fantasy Armory. This is the one that I spelled wrong earlier, and I still spelled it wrong here, but there's only one. You can't get it wrong. Fantasy Armory by Horum. Download. And... Ah, flashbang to your balls. You're welcome. Uh, I tried to cover the mic, but there's a sneeze for you. You don't need to download the sneeze mod. It's all right. You don't need that one. Hugo's Armory. There is another one there, but if you're not smart enough to figure out depreciated means you don't use it and a big line through it means you don't use it, that's on you, not me. So click on Hugo's Armory. Click download. Download with dependencies. Now that one jumped us up too. I noticed that. I don't know what this dependency was. Uh, I don't really care, but if you're following along, by the time you get to Hugo, now you should have 46. So we went from 44 Fantasy Armory to 46. I think that's the only one out of the whole list left that introduces another dependency. So the main dependency one was Epic Valheim in the beginning. The rest are all one-offs, and I did that on purpose because not only do we like the things that are on the one-offs, but when if and when the server updates again or the game updates and it breaks the mods normally it's only going to break those that have a lot of dependencies because one of the dependencies might get screwed up and then the people who made the big mod pack has to wait for it to get fixed and then they put it out blah 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 so all we have to do if that ever happens is disable epic valheim the rest should work because they're all one-offs if not then we'll just disable the one that doesn't work and then then we'll still be able to play so that's that's the main part is is we won't get stuck before where we have to redo everything or or anything like that. <clears throat> um, I think now, and hopefully karma doesn't bite me in the ass for saying this, but I think now we're at a point where we won't have to wipe anymore, even if mods are fucked up, because um, I have a better understanding of it now, for one. And two, none of these mods really are game breakers. Whereas if they don't work, we have to tear everything down and do it again. So... We should be able to keep the map for some time to come. Unless there's some kind of major update to the game that forces it, which, you know, we can't control or do anything about that. I should have been typing while I was running my mouth. The next one is Jude's Armory, or Equipment, rather. Uh, it comes with this, but so did Epic Valheim. It's already there, so you don't worry about that. So we click Jude's Equipment, hit Download, Download with Dependencies. Now we're up 47. Next is Lightsabers. That's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, they don't... I just played with this earlier... All right, I guess that's what I get. My fucking mic just went out. So uh, if it does it again, I'll have to plug it in. But <clears throat> um, anyway, lightsabers. It's a little OP. I'm not going to lie. I didn't go fight anything hard with it yet, but just looking at the values, it needs some tweaking. However, they don't give us tweak ability, so I'm kind of mad at Odin for doing that. Uh, we can change the 
materials needed to craft it. I cannot set custom values on the damage things. So it's a little OP. If I can't tweak it and I know that it's really OP, I'm probably going to take it out. But as of now, I'm going to leave it in. We'll see how it goes. I'll go grab some and go fight some trolls and big monsters and, and just see how OP it is. But I think it's I think it's a little too much. Uh, it makes cool, cool uh, lightsaber noises, though, and has lots of colors. And that's number 48. We're at 48. Cool. <clears throat> all right, Odin horse. We all want to tame and ride horses, right? I still haven't even ridden a horse yet. Uh, I tamed a few, or actually Kelly tamed them for us, and uh, never even got a chance to ride one. One thing about the horses, if you feed them and keep them happy, they will breed like rabbits. If you don't want them to breed, don't feed them. Apparently like to go out in the hump when they uh, get fed. So you'll end up with a, a barn full of horses if you keep them fed and happy. Sage's Vault. Like that. Download. Download. Now it's easy to miss things. That's why I made a list. And that's why I'm doing the video. Um, going through these things, your eyes can jump. You might skip one over. It happens. It's normal. But... Don't holler at me telling me it's broken or it's not right when it's just you're missing things or something. Just double check your list. Sometimes you even got to walk away, go get a cup of coffee, come back, and then look and you're really, I did it today with work. I I couldn't find a fucking text field I was looking for in the database. And I looked and looked and looked. I even matched the values. I couldn't find it. I went into the behind the scenes. I just couldn't find it. And I messaged the IT guy. They go, oh, it's right here. I, just, I overlooked it literally eight times. It was right there the whole time. So it happens to the best of us. It's easy to miss things. I, I ended up, I did have to walk away. I just, I turned the computer off, went to the kitchen, got me some coffee, went and checked the mail, come back, sat down, sure shit, it was right there. There's another one that I missed was right there. So I was able to finish my report. But point being, we all can miss things. Server sync death tweets. There we go. Download. <clears throat> Terra Heim. Oops, spelled it wrong. There we go. Blink, blink, blink. See a pattern here, yeah? Torches. Eternal. Okay. Trash items. Clickety boo. Download. Yep. And what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. You gotta bob your head when you do it. My little girl don't bob her head too well, but yep. No. Yes. Runic pack. This is the only one that's really doubled. This was the original creator. Now, guys, if I'm ever giving you a mod list and you see things are doubled, don't panic. Don't be like, I don't know which one to do. I'm going to pick the one that's either by the more known uh, creator or the one that's more current. So you click it once, it'll have a last updated date, March 7. This one, January 1, 22. So we're going to want the later date one, right? Normally what Odin Plus does is they're a team of people that goes out and finds cool shit and makes it a little better. <laughs> All right. So they went out, they found this. It's pretty cool. Then they made it a little better and they put it out there. So uh, that's what you want to do. So if ever in the future I put one out and I don't, I can't think of the word. I don't distinguish which one you want. Uh, check the version dates. It's very rare that I'm going to keep something with an older version date. In this case, in Discord listing, I did write Odin Plus by this one. So there's no way you can pick this one and try to blame it on me. All right. Click download. Go that way. <clears throat> Uh, last but not least, the item drawers. I almost forgot about that. Kiana had to remind me of that. We like that. Click that. Down. And boom. Now we're down to 59, right? So there's our complete list. Now I'm going to let it sit here a second. If you need to go back and compare the whole list, you don't need to rewind the video. I'm just, I'm going to leave it here. Pause it. All right. Then when you're done. I'm going to scroll up. Dual wield is where we left off. Dual wield is off the screen. Pause it. All right. Now I'm going to scroll here. Monster Nomicon is where we left off. 
And now it's off the screen a little bit more than the other one. There you go. Pause it. All right, so now we're going to go. Simple recycling was the last one. It's right there. I can't scroll anymore. Ward is love is on the bottom. It is alphabetical now. <clears throat> so there's your entire list. If you need to go back and uh, compare visually, just go back to the points where I said pause it, and then it'll be all the pages where you can compare. You should have 59. If you have a HD mod installed, it's not going to be on my list because that's client side, not server side. That's up to you guys. And I'm not going to get into that because it's a pain in the dick. And I just, sorry, I'm an asshole. I don't want to help people do it. Uh, maybe one of the admins will help you do it. Maybe another player will help you do it. And that's cool. I've just, I got out of the tech support field a long time ago because I'm just getting cranky at my old age. So um, it's not hard to do, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to do. And I don't want people hitting me up all day long. How do I get it on there? It's not working, blah, blah. Uh, go ask somebody else. All right. I got so much stuff to worry about with these servers than that. But it is out there. So if you do install that mod, then you will have 60. If you are an admin, you have our admin mod on there. Then you will have 61. If you are not an admin and you do not have HD mod installed, you will have 59. And that's what we have. So uh, let's go ahead and click start modded. That's how you start the game. For y'all that don't know, there's a little window that runs in the background here when the game's starting. Uh, let's see if I can. Now I got a couple monitors, so I can put on the other screen. But um, here, you can watch this if you're just curious for shits and giggles to look. Now you might see some yellow in here. It's it's not bad. Um, why is my monitor not showing anything? Huh. Doesn't want to show this. All right. Well, what you didn't see, some red went by. And that's because the first time you load the server after having installed those mods, it is going to write the config files for those mods. Okay. So what you also need to do, and this is important, is as soon as you get in game, after having installed all the mods, go ahead and log out. All right? Then log back in the game, and you should see no red in there. There, Well, I say no red. There's one mod that still has red. The developer is aware of it. All right, so there's the game. Um, now, Technically, I don't think you have to go all the way into the server, but I'm going to tell you to do that anyway, just to make sure, because there are some server-side syncs that need to go on. Some of the mods have server sync settings to them so that it's going to match up our, our configurations between the server and your computer. But I think that's gone through this process. It has written the configs already, and you can just close the game and then restart it. But I'm going to tell you go ahead and go into the server and then and then get out of it and restart it. Um, I really want to know why this other, uh, excuse me. Oh, cause I have that click. All right. So this was the screen I was telling you about. Um, we'll run through this real quick, just so I can, for those that do like to know, if you don't care, then you can skip ahead. But, um, as this thing's loading, it's doing all kinds of things. The mods are coming, the hook gen's going, weapons running. It's all loading all the mods, right? This is fine. Don't worry about the little yellows. Okay. Some yellow is fine. This red should go away um, after we reboot because the localization hasn't been built yet. So it's going to do this, but that's that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll see if I'm right because I think that one goes away. As you roll down, it's loading more shit, loading more shit, some yellow, nobody cares. Loading more shit, loading more configs, getting all the stuff for Better Trader. Better Trader goes through and adds a lot of shit to these things. All right, Better Trader is a big mod. These are the four, I don't know if this is too big or not on your screen if you can see it, but these are the four that will always be there. Like I said, the mods know, the mod creators know about that, and it's it's for future stuff, so it's not a big deal. Um, this big one here, I think will go away. Now this one here, some of y'all have seen this before, telling you that it's not finding these alchemy benches. And it, it doesn't matter, that the alchemy station doesn't work anyway, it doesn't do anything. So, again, it's for future updates. It's not a big deal. Uh, the guy just didn't name it Peace Alchemy Station. It's not, it's, it doesn't matter. 
all the all the shit still works for that mod. It is, it's trying to make that stuff to go in that station, and the stuff exists, but the station don't, blah, 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 and it uses the uh, the other station anyway, so just ignore all that. All right. Um, or if you really want to learn about it, go read on the, the mod creator's discussions. It just gives you a headache. All right. That's a lot of better trader adding shit. It's going down. And again, no more red. Okay, so the two big patches of red, little five piece there, and a big one up here. I think this goes away. We'll see. Uh, but I know this one stays, and it's not a big deal. Now, if you load your game and there's a lot more red than that, okay, then that's something wrong. That means you missed a mod, or a mod didn't load, or something, something like that. Okay. Uh, if there's a lot of yellow, there's probably something wrong. A little bit of yellow is no big deal. This yellow is always going to be here. I think this will go away once we uh, reboot it. I'm not sure. So anyway, we'll just, we'll close that. Now, if you got your thing in full screen like I do, and you only have one monitor, just Alt Tab to get to get to that, and then uh, bring it up if you want to look at it. <laughs> All right, so let's start game. Not that. Start game. Testicus. That's my test guy. Join game. I'm gonna go in the server. This is our test server, so you can try it again if you want, but that password you're not gonna be able to. Oh, this part takes a minute sometimes too on the first load. Oh. Well, every time I say I'm gonna make a quick video, it's not quick at all. It's been 26 minutes already. I even cut down the intro music down to a minute and a half instead of the full three minutes. Cause I really like that song, so I wanted it to be in there. But it's a cool song. Do, 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 do. Load. See, I've got the HD overhaul mod installed. It doesn't show up on my list I made now because it's installed on the backside. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that crap. So here we are. Oh, shit. Look, the forest is moving. I just load in and they already want to come kill me. All right. We can, we can play that game. We'll interrupt our daily scheduled... Uh, nonsense for Ecther trying to send us some creatures of the forest. Shit, wrong button. Oh, I didn't even install my ad mod, so I have to do this legit. Well, where are they at? Hmm? They're taking a long time to get here. It's so dark. Figures it happened. Oh, I wonder if they can't get past the bubble. I turned off the bubble, but it's still there. Oh, yeah, there. See, they can't get in. So I didn't have to do this anyway. Let's shoot them anyway. Why not? Actually, y'all want to go kill them with some lightsabers? We'll do red and purple. Check that shit out. They even glow. Let's go kill them with lightsabers. You are leaving the safety of Wag Docks. That's, uh, I didn't do the big old wag town this time, but I did do a little area called wag docks, and it has a dock. And, uh, look, you can farm, I don't want to do it right here, but, uh, you can cut down trees with these lights. You can't do the hardwood trees. Oh, the forest rest. That was a weak, see? Oh, look, that's one. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, but you can chop down regular trees like these, and you can do rocks. Find a big rock. And get up. You can harvest rocks and trees with them. Armored gray lane. Notice that it has the names in front of it now. That one said armored. So that's part of the new thing. Um, that one said something, but I don't care. So anyway, uh, yeah, it works. So now at this point, I would tell you to log out and log back in, and those errors should go away. I made a spot here for cart parking, in case you want to bring your cart to Wag Docks. Um, this is Wag Docks. You can come down here, and out back we have a couple docks, so you can park your boat. Got the cartography map over there. You can do your map things. Feel free to park your boats. I had to move the bubble in 
because the boat still won't get inside the bubbles, but the place is protected. You'll notice if we go out to right here. Oh, that's Wag Bridge. Uh, right here, maybe we're... Yeah, you are leaving the safety of Wag Docks. So right here, I, I turn the bubble off because it gets annoying staring at the bubbles. But right here is where it, it starts to see. And here it's not safe. So, just so you know. But boats, so you can't you can't destroy boats anyway. They're invincible. Your boat's safe out there. Uh, you come in, there's a bonfire you can hang out in. Just, you know, chill. Dry off. Do some marshmallows. Whatever. Go in here, there's a workbench. And, uh, yeah. Workbench stuff. Uh, flax machine thing. Uh, you go in here. There's your forge. And you guys are all welcome to use this stuff, as you know, uh, when you first start playing. There's the kitchen. Wagahala's kitchen. So we got an outdoor kitchen. Pretty cool. All doing shit. Ovens. Uh, hooky things. There's a trader. Wag trades. You'll notice you got all this stuff back. There's your, there's your adver or not. Those of you that want your ring back. It's at a low price too. Look at that. 500? I thought that was like 2,000 before. A lot of this shit's cheaper now, guys. So whatever mod we had before that was conflicting with this mod, I think, ruined this. Um, stuff you can sell. Prices are normal. You're not going to be able to sell your gold coins, one coin, for 300 coins. So no more of that. Exploits. Um, you can buy stuff over here, and the prices are preset, so we don't have to worry about um, prices. If some of them are really way off, let me know, and we can edit those. But at least they're not all defaulted. Like four, like that, like 950. That's really low. That shouldn't even be sold to the trader. So I might take that out. I don't. Know. We'll see. Um, I did up that, by the way. But I don't even have one. I upped the. Uh, um, it doesn't say here. 2,000 pounds. Let's take off our backpack. Holy shit. Went down like 800, 900 pounds. I think I upped the WAG backpack to increase your load by 500 pounds. Not sure why it's giving me more than that. Um, cool. I also increased the, uh, the, the WAG armor. You now have uh, a modifier resistance against poison. That was not on there before. I can't mouse down to it because it goes away. But um, toward the bottom, you got resist fire, resist frost, and resist poison. So you can go down to the hell area and not catch on fire. Take your armor off. Piece your armor off and watch how quickly you burst into flames when you're down in the ashlands. So you'll burn up. And you can go up north, not freeze your balls off. And you can now go into the mist lands and not die from poison or have to drink those poison pots all day long. So it's another added benefit to having the wag armor. I'm pretty sure the wag armor gives you 500. Yeah, see, we went down from 2,000 to 1,400. I think my perks are giving me a little bit more and some other shit that I got, but I added an additional 500 weight capacity to your armor, okay? I did tone the armor down a little bit, contrary to what Pryrican thinks. It's not uh, weak, it's OP as fuck. So some of you know this. Uh, I toned it down a little bit, but I did add a few more perks on top of that so that you can still enjoy it and it makes it worthwhile to have. So it has an increased carrying capacity of 500 pounds and poison resistance. Those two things are, are fabulous. So you still you can't just stand there and take a beat. I want you guys to still play the game, not just hop in the wag armor and go smash it. All right? So I still want you to play the game, so you can't just stand there and take your beat. But you can take more of a beating than anyone that doesn't have this armor can. And we've tested this against other armor, and it still is a little bit better than the best armor in the game. Um, I don't have admin mode on, so I can't spawn myself some WAG tools, but I did lower down the WAG weapons a little bit, too. Those were insanely OP. You guys were one-shot and shit. You shouldn't be one-shot. So... Uh, I didn't know that the damage stacked. Now, if we're looking at this sword here, or any sword, let me have the trader. Let me just go look at something so I can at least take my mouse and point. All right. So, 
it's not a good whatever so the wag armor has a slash and it has blunt and it has pierce it has all the damages right i didn't know they stacked i thought it would just give you that amount or whatever type of damage landed on the creature so i had each one at 200 because some of the best armor i mean excuse me some of the best weaponry gives you 150 or so damage so i wanted the, the wax up to be at 200 because that's bigger than 150. i didn't know it stacked so you're actually getting like 2000 damage all right because it was applying 200 slash 200 pierce 200 blunt and 200 whatever all at the same time plus the 50 bonus i put for spirit poison frost and 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 fire so it was giving you way too much damage so i toned those down a bit um they're still going to be effective they're still going to be op they're still going to be better than the rest but hopefully you're not going to one shot things as much i haven't tested it yet to see but uh we'll just see how it goes but they're not weak i can tell you that uh down here we've got specialty benches each place has a name above the door this is where you're going to have your thor's bench your alchemy station that i told you doesn't do anything we know uh the mod writer has it in there for later the inscription table that you can craft these things oh you don't have to craft the legendary rune stone anymore to do um your your uh, legendary enchants all you need is the purple one so that's pretty cool but you guys might like that i didn't do that it just was part of the mod so um there's a cold forge you you get some new stuff too these are new i don't know if they're any good or not but they level up and they scale up accordingly it starts out pretty low but i don't know how high they go but they're supposed to be decent. Um, and then, of course, you've got your artisan table where you do your enchants. So you'll notice I've got I got some things, right, that I was farting around with. If I click legendary and I want to enchant it, you don't need that triangle orange one anymore. I don't know if the mod writers did that on purpose or what maybe one of the other mods we had worked in conjunction with this and it created extra things because a lot of them do that. But in any case, it's cheaper now for you to do enchants and... There are a few other enchants. Um, and I tried for an hour to land air jump on my boots. So, ugh, wouldn't work. I don't know why. Uh, I just have shit luck. But they did have a lot of the cool enchants um, disabled. So, because I love you guys, I went and re-enabled those. Things like Featherfall was disabled. Things like Glowing was disabled. Um, now, one of the other mods apparently... The glowing was better. This glowing doesn't actually glow your sword like the other one with all the little sparkles. Um, this has glowing on it, right? Yeah, this one does. So it literally just glows. It's hard to tell because it's not dark. But there's a faint glow, just like the armor does. So it doesn't have the cool sparkles like before, which kind of sucks. But it, it glows, nonetheless. Uh, if I put it away, that little glow will go. Okay, so you see there, it was lit. It lights up. Now it's dark. That's what it does. So now you know. Uh, here's your smelter. Um, I boxed them all off. Use the boxes inside, okay? I don't have my cheats on, so I can't spawn some shit. But just do what the sign says. Ore input. Put your ore in there. All right? And your metal will come out there. It'll do it automatically. If it's out of coal, let an admin know. We'll come fill it up the bucket with coal. Don't steal the coal out of here just don't um we leave coal in there and it sucks it into the machine so the machines are full uh the other smelter is over here there's, there's two inside here actually um so you can use these as well same thing put your ore in there i think i took it all out coal goes in there there's a little bit left both of them are full and the metal will come out down there so you guys can use those if you want um when you spawn in I didn't do much at spawn point because I just wanted it to not get all goofed up like the last one did. I messed up down here with the terrain a little bit, so I had to put some stairs in there. Terra farming sucks on this game. I don't know if this will mess shit up. So, it, guys, if you log in and this has disappeared or the ground is half gone in here like before, just, just remember you can either re-log a few times, it'll work, or just go away and come back, it'll work. It's just a UI bug. It's not a big deal. Uh, you're going to start here when you spawn, right? 
So when you spawn in, just look to your south a little bit. You'll see the, the archways and just follow those archways right on down. Maybe I'll do another video on Wagtown, even though I just kind of did one. So maybe I'll just cut this in half and s split the two videos. So you can see Wagtown from up here. It's kind of cool, right? Uh, my ad one of my admins already put a bubble over there for themselves. And uh, yeah, there's there's not Wagtown, excuse me, but Wag Docks. And that's got everything you need to, to borrow if you guys need to borrow shit to get started. Uh, one thing about the bubbles, missed a jump. Um, I got water walking. Water walking is an enchant. It doesn't work, so don't do it. I tried, it doesn't work. One thing about these bubbles, guys. Um, apparently only admins have, I wonder if it means I won't sink. No, we can't sink in this game anyway, but I have an enchant called water walking. As you see, I'm not walking on water. Um, yeah, works great. But, I want these bubbles small, guys. Don't be overlapping bubbles, making it where people can't get in and out of shit, okay? Look, you go once. Alright, so, you guys don't have the option to resize your bubbles. And I wish you did, because it would save us some work. So, if you guys put portals out in the world that you want to use, don't stretch them out. I mean, well, you can't do anything about it. Tell us so we can shrink it down. Um, all you need inside a portal, really, a bubble is a portal. Sometimes people will drop a, a forge down or a workbench just for shits and giggles so they can have one near their portal. All right. Look at that. I'm a fucking expert shot with that bow. All right. But sometimes people will do that. And that's fine. It doesn't take much room. I want these small. I don't think I've, uh, I think I beat that dead horse. So. If you're gonna put one down, just get a hold of an admin. Say, hey, I got a portal down, and we'll we'll come over there and, and shrink it down for you. Because inevitably, someone will leave it big. It'll be 50 meters out. Someone's house will be there. They won't be able to get in their house. Uh, things like that. So, all right, I think I've covered enough of that garbage. Um, just for shits and giggles, let's let's log out real quick. I want to see if I'm right about the red and yellows going away. Boop, 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 boop. And if y'all want, well, not like you can answer me when this is a live video. If you want to quit watching, go ahead. Um, well, we've talked about all the important shit. Um, but what, like I said, what I want to do now is just going to restart it. You don't have to restart Mod Man or anything. And then uh, let's bring back up that little window. And it wants to be a pain in the dick. Click. All right. So now that it's gone through its initial startup phase, it's written all the config files. That's what these, all these things that are going across the screen now, they're they're looking for fig fi config files to set up the game. So if those configuration files don't exist, then it's going to throw errors. And that's why it, it does that the first time for some of the mods. Some of them don't. Um, but... There, it's still loading, still loading. Oh, better traders doing its thing. There's the five I told you will stay there. Looks like that big block of yellow did stay, which I think it's part of that mod with the alchemy table that, that's not working. So that's fine. But all the other ones are gone. This one is here. I told you you can ignore that one. So if we scroll down, that other big block of red should be gone. There's another yellow. It's no big deal. Yeah, you don't want any red in here, except for the little five lines. These these are going to be here, and that's fine. And in fact, I think these have to do with this, too. It's looking... These all work together. So, um, I think, anyway. So, and that's fine. This is for future updates. They'll work eventually. And this is not a big deal. Um... Delta clone, prefab armor barbarian. That's that's the uh, yeah that's a that's the other armor mod. That's fine. I can look into that, but it's not a big deal because the armor still works. So, um, and this is irrelevant because that stuff ha that it's missing hasn't even been introduced yet. So it's, it's no big deal. But if you look through, there's no more red, and you don't want any red in here. If you're getting red, something's wrong. Okay, red wrong, red bad. Yellow, meh, whatever. Um, red not bad. For these five. Other than that, red bed. 
So that should be good and clean. Um, now if you, you know, that that's that's it for now. If you guys want to stop the video, go ahead. What I want to do... No, I can't do it on this tune. Back. Let's take, uh... Oh no, it's not tune-based. Um, I have to install my other mod. Never mind. I was going to run through... I'll do another video later. I was going to run through the Mistlands and show you guys, uh... Just how, um... The new monsters in the Mistlands. But uh, maybe I'll do another video on that. So for now, you're good to go. Um, again, just follow that list and uh, you'll be fine. There are 59 on there. I don't care what you say. <laughs> There's 59. So if you do not have 59, you miss something. So just take your time. Go through. It's frustrating as hell. I know this. Um, this was a big deterrent for me at first to even run this game because I don't like dealing with mod managers or you know, whatever you want to call these these programs. Um, I just hate them for this reason. And they're a real pain in the dick. But it does afford us the opportunity to have really cool stuff in the game that the game manufacturers don't put in the game. So a lot of people do a lot of great work. And it's just unfortunate that we have to get them done this way. And there's and there's nothing like ARC or, um, well, not seven days. Our seven days are all customized mods because we don't want to use a mod manager for seven days either. They're out there, but I don't want I don't want the players having to do this all the time. So I try to do it. This game won't allow us to do it this way or any way but this way. For now, maybe they'll update it later. Maybe they'll integrate with Steam where you know you can go through the workshop and subscribe, and then they automatically download. Who knows? But for now, we have to do it this way. So hopefully this video will help you guys to do that. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, uh, while this video is processing and uploading, I'm going to go through on my admin account and go fly over to the Mistlands and do a little video on all the bad guys over there because I think you're going to like it. All right. Take it easy, guys, and we will catch you later.